Hello everyone, welcome to Dorothy Chia Piano and this is my midweek vlog which I'm starting out and testing it out and this vlog will come out midweek and it focuses on the lifestyle, the life of a piano teacher. So let's get started and for today's episode I want to talk about something that I wear around my wrist. So if you've watched my videos, you will notice that I like bracelets and one of the things that I have been collecting are crystal bracelets. So I have other regular bracelets, but today let's look at my bracelet collection. I took out some of my uh, collection and I thought I'll share with you. So this is a short video on bracelets. Um, I wear the bracelets based on my mood for the day. All right. So sometimes I uh, wake up feeling very optimistic and chirpy. And so I would choose bracelets that match my mood. I also base uh, my choice of crystal, uh, crystal bracelets that I wear uh, based on the colour of the clothes that I'm wearing that day. Okay, so like today I'm wearing black, I might choose to wear something that matches uh, what I am wearing. Okay, so my mood, uh, the colour of the clothes that I am wearing. Another uh, influencing factor is uh, based on the students that's coming to me that day. All right. For example, if I have uh, students that are uh, more difficult to work with, then I would choose um, colours that make me calmer when I teach them. One of my first purchases is from this shop in uh, Takashimaya. So it's a shopping centre in Singapore. And um, it was on the second floor. So as with all my purchases, usually I will look at the products quite a few times before I decide to make my purchase. So this shop, the name of this shop is Victoria Ansel. Okay. And one of my very, very first purchase is uh, this bracelet. And you can see that it's made up of a combination of beads. Okay, so there's um, moonstone. So moonstone is the blue one. There's aquamarine, and there's clear quartz. All right, so these three combinations. And um, I chose. It comes with this charm. Right, I don't know whether you can see it. Okay, you can choose the charm. Usually, they will restring it to your wrist size. So on the wrist, it looks like this. Okay, very pretty. Okay, um, in general, blue crystals have a calming effect. Okay, and remember just now I mentioned that on days where I'm a bit more agitated, or if I have students that is a bit more trickier to handle, then this is something that I would wear because it helps me to maintain a calm mood during my teaching. Alright, from the same shop, I also got a jade. jade. So this is full jade. Okay, full jade. So it's a pale green colour and I love the colour of the... Um, so this is one of my very very first jade pieces so later on I will show you um, my other jade collection okay so on hand effect it looks like this all right the bead size is smaller okay and I like to wear this as a stacker stacker means that I might have another uh, bracelet and I wear this to complement the bracelet that I'm wearing. So I think this looks like a 6mm size, it's smaller. 
but it's jade. Okay, so if you compare this one, this um, feels heavier and it's cool to the touch, which gives me um, more assurance that I'm buying a better quality product. Um, if you go online and there are online sellers, and if the product is um, in the range of $10 to $15, then those products are um, probably artificial crystal. So for example, the one that I'm wearing on my hand, all right, this is jadeite, but it's, uh, I, I think, yeah, it's artificial jadeite. So it's probably uh, man-made. Um, it feels more plastic and uh, when they sell it, they did say that it's jadeite. But of course, when it arrives and for the price that you pay and it's selling online, then even chen, even more. So this, I feel, is an artificial uh, crystal. So um, I tend to invest in products which is um, more higher quality yeah so I'm going to show you some of my favorites so speaking of jade I have two pieces here okay and these two are from the same seller all right and um, is this lady when I first know her she was selling uh, on Facebook so she has Facebook Live every week and uh, the seller is her, her page is called My House of Crystal. So over the years, I've bought quite a few products from her. I like her workmanship and her design, okay? And the, the um, stones have a better quality. You can look at it from the sheen, okay? The... Uh, hardware that she uses as well as the care she takes so every product that comes that I bought from her comes in a pouch yeah? so that's where I keep my my bracelets and I use these uh, silicone gel to keep the product um, because these you have you have uh, hardware on them so these might change color or tarnish yeah but I keep them quite well so they're made of different types of jade so you have the darker Burmese jade and you also have the lighter shade of Hertian jade yeah and I think this one has some American jade in them as well okay I bought two was because they are different designs but um, initially I wanted to give one to my sister but she doesn't like to wear bracelets, unlike me. So, um, so I've kept both myself. The second one, this one, yeah, is a different design because it has this Lulu Tong. Lulu Tong um, has a, when you wear Lulu Tong, it has a meaning of being, um, that means everything goes smoothly. Yeah, so that's that added added meaning uh, to wearing this pair of bracelet okay so it also mixes with other types of crystal for example there is the white phantom so this one is a white phantom it's quite a big diameter maybe about 14 cm so it's a large white phantom I also have green phantom so this is green phantom so full green phantom green phantom uh, any green crystals uh, help with your career okay and then of course it has the Burmese jade like this piece of Lulu Tong so I have two Lulu Tong here hey no three three Lulu Tong okay and then it has all these smaller beads of jade and so this piece this is one of my favorite so when I'm not working and I go out I like to wear this piece or the other piece of jade. Yeah. Um, if you look at the Chinese culture, yeah. So since the days of the emperor, 
um, the dynasties. Yeah, the jade has a cultural meaning, and it among the Asians, the Chinese. Yeah, it's a protective stone. So we also wear this for protection. Okay. And my mom used to tell me that, you know, let's say if if you meet with, let's say you fall, for example, yeah, touch wood, if you fall, then the jade might crack and break your fall. So it would protect you, yeah. So that's the other benefit of wearing jade. Okay, moving on, from the same seller, my house of crystal, there's this piece that I bought not too long ago. It's a pretty recent addition. This is rose gold. Uh, not rose gold. Rose quartz. Alright. Rose quartz and I like this piece. So this one and this one in my collection come with the uh, Murano hearts. Okay. So this lady, her name is Mei Yen and she is the only crystal shop in Singapore that sells her bracelets using these Murano beads. Yeah? So these are glass beads, but um, they are heart shaped. And this piece is rose quartz. And it comes with uh, other crystals, but the main highlight is the rose quartz. So on the hand, it looks like this. Right. Okay, so rose quartz. Mm, Remember earlier on I said about, let's say on the low season of my business, this is an example of something that I would wear. Rose quartz brings about ren yuan, that means um, meeting good relationships, okay, and meeting good uh, your benefactors. It also helps you to meet your future husband, wife, your soulmate, all right, as well as uh, friends, yeah, reliable friends that come into your life. So it builds Ren Yuan. Okay, so this is Rose Quartz. Okay, and again from the same seller, this piece. Um, sometimes I will write down the, the crystals that's inside the beads used. Okay, just like my Rose Quartz one, it has these Murano glass beads, heart shape. So I bought it because I like this heart shape, okay? And this is a black piece, so when I wear this, usually I will be wearing it on my left, uh, right, hand, right hand, okay? And the main, the main focus is this piece. This is black obsidian, alright? Black obsidian, uh, if you do business, sometimes you will face um, frenemies or enemies, people who do not like you, all right. And this is a protective uh, crystal, okay. And uh, it helps you to fend off um, these more toxic people from your life. But it also has this uh, silverish-looking one. This is terahertz. Terahertz improve blood circulation. So I sound like an old lady, but um, as we age, inevitably you will have uh, body aches. Yeah? And so terahertz help to um, promote blood circulation. And with good blood circulation, of course, then it promotes uh, more wellness in your life. Okay, so this is uh, also a wellness piece and the charm is a black onyx okay so on days that I'm wearing black color this is one of my favorite to wear uh, to complement my dressing so these are all from the same shop uh, my house of crystal okay a pretty recent addition uh, are these two. Okay. They employ the same um, stone. The, they use aquamarine. Okay. This one is in a flat shopai 
uh, design and this one is in rounded design so these two come from Sui Jewelry uh, I like their design because um, the lady that string these uh, bracelets I feel she's very talented and I love her design so if you can see this one has a little fairy here all right and it combines clear quartz with aquamarine so aquamarine is a calming stone and um, for for students that know me they know that I am a bit more feisty and um, hot tempered all right I I would say patience is not one of my virtues and aquamarine I think helps to counter my uh, temperament so this is another piece aquamarine and this is this one I think I chose it was because of this it has a Hello Kitty uh, charm and this is a Super 7 bead. Okay, so this is one of my favorite. And on the hand, yeah, because it has a, it's in a shopai design, it is quite easy to wear. And this is Queen Conch. Uh, it's a type of shell. Yeah. Okay, that. So this is Hello Kitty. And I think if I'm working with young kids that day, I like to wear this piece because I think little girls like Hello Kitty. Yeah. So this piece, that's from uh, Sui Jewelry. Then I also have um, these three. Okay, let's start with this one first. This is Citrine. Okay, Citrine. Citrine is a uh, a wealth magnet okay it helps to attract um, money into your life so I wear this mostly when I'm working yeah when I'm working so and it comes with a Zhao Cai Mao I bought this quite close to Chinese New Year Zhao Cai Mao pink color Zhao Cai Mao and um, this piece is from Hanako Crystal so they have a stall that's on the 6th floor of Nex Shopping Centre which is near to where I live yeah. so this is what I wear when I am working so I don't really wear this if I'm not working Okay. then um, I have this piece this is one of my oldest uh, bracelet Okay, it comes with strawberry quartz and I think this is the gold rutal citrine, I don't know, can't remember. And it has strawberry quartz. And the centerpiece is citrine. Okay. Some of these are quite good quality crystals and some are not so good quality mid-range. Okay. I bought this when it was brand new, it was very nice. Okay. I think it's still nice. I still wear it. This shop is next to um, Plaza Singh. So if you come out from Dobi Ghat and just before you take the escalator into Plaza Singh, there is a shop there and I bought this from that shop. Okay, and this is the only piece I bought from that shop, but uh, one of the first uh, bracelets that I've and I own. Okay, this one is what we call Auralite 23. Auralite 23. Auralite 23, according to my friend, I saw her wearing this. So I went to look for it and I purchased one for myself. Auralite 23 is to uh, reduce stress. So if you feel very stressed, you feel very agitated or very overwhelmed with your life then Auralite 23 helps you to uh, balance out so this one I've restringed it and I've added a Koi Chum right, can you see? this is a Swarovski uh, Koi Chum so I wear this piece when 
um, when you feel the days where your life is a bit overwhelmed. Okay. Yeah. All right, and that's it for today. So, um, all future vlogs, such as this one, would come midweek. So it would focus on um, areas in the life of a piano teacher. So tell me what you, what kind of videos appeal to you that you want me to share in my future vlogs. So till then, take care. Bye bye.